Meet Victoria. She blinks, breathes, and bleeds just like you. She's also pregnant and about to undergo an emergency C-section. Victoria, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm not feeling well. Mm. The anesthesiologist? No, but she's coming soon. Don't worry. This is my first time being pregnant. I can't believe this is happening to me. I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh, come on. I'll get the doctor. Victoria is a top-of-the-line patient simulator, and this is a crisis exercise for the anesthesia team, taking place in the simulation room at Columbia University Medical Center. Simulation is an opportunity for us to educate in an immersive and interactive way. This is really a chance for us to practice without risk, to enhance patient safety, to experience different roles in a multidisciplinary way. Nurses can be doctors, doctors can be nurses. Novices learn how to manage crisis without the fear of harm to the patient. This is all real, functioning medical equipment, and Victoria responds to everything as a human would, with a little help from someone just beyond the one-way glass, who controls Victoria's symptoms and responses wirelessly via laptop. Sometimes we come in here and we don't know the scenario, um, and it's like a real-life situation. Having an environment like this where we can learn, uh, express ourselves, and honestly, even error is great because we learn from mistakes without hurting anybody. At about $63,000, Victoria is the most expensive and technologically advanced model made by Gomard Scientific, a 60-year-old private family-run company based in Miami, which sells about 20,000 patient simulators in the U.S. and abroad each year. According to Forbes, the company's annual revenues easily exceed $60 million. Ten years ago, this wireless technology just didn't exist. So we couldn't make something like Victoria. Electronics are getting smaller and smaller. Uh, materials are getting more and more realistic. So that's our objective, is to keep things as realistic as possible. And Victoria has a family. Other life-sized patient simulators. Our adult males do have amputated limbs that actively bleed. Our pediatric simulators can simulate bee stings or anaphylaxis, things that a parent would normally experience, and right down to actually premature infants. And when things go well, Victoria delivers a baby. Meet Tori. As you can hear, Victoria's baby cries and feels and moves like a real infant. At least baby Tori doesn't need to be fed that may be in the works for next year's model.